Here's his uh, Mini Countryman uh, World Rally Champion car for the season 2011. It's uh, still a design vision and uh, it was a very big challenge, of course, to transfer the production car, which was just shown to the public uh, two weeks ago uh, for the dealers, into a rally car which will compete on the world uh, uh, challenges of World Rally Championship. And it was a, a big sporty uh, uh, job to uh, take all the comfort equipment out and put it back to a road going and uh, a, a gravel going a racing car with all the aerodynamic restrictions and also aerodynamic, uh, aerodynamic necessities, but also the homologation rules, which are very strict in the WRC uh, competitive field and uh, we are very keen to see the car racing and looking forward to have it on the road. When Mini won the first uh, Monte Carlo Rally in 1964, I was just 11 years old. I, I was 10 years old and the magic number was 37. And being a, a boy, following all the racing activities in rallies, in Formula One and in sports car racing, it was always my dream to be part of the development of a racing car. And I think that's the highest uh, achievement you can do as a designer to create something which is poor functionality, poor racing and poor competitive. Design by itself is a sporty a task because you're always competing with other models and with other designers in a very difficult field, aesthetics. And transferring a car, you, you put a production into a racing car and having this done with your heart in a very short while and hope to seeing it on the racing track. Like when I was a little boy in the magazines, uh, it really warmed my heart and the team and myself were fighting and, and working very hard to get even a very functional uh, car or product into an aesthetically nice product.